try and bring your coffee on the bed. Oh, oh. oh no, the camera's up too. <gasps> Hi, my coffee's spilling. This angle's not gonna work. I could just sit on my knees. See? Okay, we're gonna sit on the knees. Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome. Oh, I knew I was gonna regret leaving them in. God dang it. Behind the scenes of filming a YouTube video. Alan Bear! Hey, you. I'm gonna need you to come get in your cage, please. Thank you so much. You're so good. It's your fault there's nothing soft in there. You take it everywhere. Little fact about Alan Bear and his cage. I have to change his blanket every single day because he gets in the pool every single day and it gets disgusting. You're such a good boy. If you're being a good boy, I'll give you a nice soft blanket. There you go, my love. Be a good boy. All right, let's go back to filming this video, shall we? Ooh, look at that light though. Favorite Dollar Tree products coming up. Okay, I feel like the very first thing that I have to mention, I am so obsessed with this. I've hauled this a million times, but I don't think you guys can even begin to understand my love for this little flower pot container holder thing. I freaking love this thing so much. If you have not gotten Spit it out. See my love. It's just making me tongue tied. If you haven't bought one of these yet, I say go get one immediately because it is so dang cute. I have two on my porch. I have one on my inside of my house. I got another one. Like I'm putting them everywhere. I think I want to add one to my little coffee bar area. I just think that these are so good. I have some in our studio. I think that these are perfection for just a cute little container, especially for spring and summer. I mean, you can use them all the time, obviously, but I just love these. They have them in two shapes. They just look so cute with little house plants in them, and you could put fake flowers in them if you wanted to. You don't even have to put flowers. You could put something else in there. Oh, that'd be cute if you put like little dish towels in there. So many things that you could do with these. I think this is just one of the best buys at Dollar Tree, and they're out right now. I've seen them at every one of my Dollar Trees that I've gone to recently and I just, I can't say enough good things about them. Over in this part of my patio is where I have two of the flower pots that I just love. I've got that one right there, and I've got that one. And then in my house, and then I have this cute little one on my dining room table. Oh, isn't this so cute? So this is the taller one that I have, but so cute. Oh, I forgot to show you the one in the studio. Back to the studio, I'll show you the ones in there too. Ooh, it's sprinkling a little bit, okay. Studio could be a mess right now. I'm using the pots with this cool little plant. I love it. Next to my little moo cow, how cute. And then I have one over there as well. Another thing that I have that I'm so obsessed with that Dollar Tree has right now are their fairy garden items. I have talked about the fairy garden items many times in the past couple of hauls and I've hauled many fairy garden things. I've said I'm building an epic fairy garden and I'm sure you're like, well, where the hell is your epic fairy garden? It's coming, I swear. Uh, Here's the thing, I got a thing that I wanna like use as my little fairy garden holder and my daughter wanted to do a fairy garden of her own. So I went on Dollar Tree's website and I ordered her like a whole set of the fairy garden stuff so that we could both have our own sets so we can create our own fairy garden villages so I can do mine my way, she can do hers her way. And that shipment from Dollar Tree took forever to come in. So it's officially all in. So I'm hoping this weekend my daughter and I will do our fairy garden epicness this weekend. This is the little thing that I got that I'm going to build my fairy garden. It's got like the three levels and then we're gonna do linens in like a big flower pot. I wanted to show you a few of my favorite ones. I feel like doing a fairy garden with like your kid or a grandkid can just be such a fun little bonding experience and you know fairy gardens, fairies, I mean, I know they're not real, but they're magical and they kind of just make you feel good. And these little things like this one is still one of my favorites. It's just so cute. I recently found another one of these for linen. So we each have one because on the Dollar Tree's website, like the order that you can do, I don't think this one's in there. So I love this one with the little clothesline. This one is one of my other favorites. However, a lot of times the faces of the fairies on this little thing can be pretty busted looking, but this one looked pretty good. But from far away, I mean, it's just so cute. So as soon as my fairy garden's done, I think my, Len and I are going to kind of like vlog style it a little bit this weekend and 
she's abandoned me for the past two weekends. She wanted to go to my mom's house. My mom got a new little puppy, a tiny little imperial shih tzu. I put a picture of it on my Instagram recently and it's just the cutest little, her name's Sugar Bear. Like my dog's name is Alan Bear. So we've got the bear thing staying in the family, but she is so adorable. She weighs three pounds and my daughter's just obsessed with her. So she's left me and my husband two weekends in a row to go play with the puppy. She told me she's ready to build a fairy garden now. So this weekend we're gonna build a fairy garden. Oh, and this is one of my other favorite ones. The little slide, how freaking adorable is that? I just love it. The next Dollar Tree thing that I'm obsessed with is this snack container. I have been using this thing religiously in my daughter's lunch. It is so perfect. It just opens up like this and it has two sides, obviously. It does come with this little container as well that just fits right inside that you can put like hummus, dip, ketchup, whatever you want to go with whatever snack you have. I just stick this thing right in my daughter's lunch and it fits perfect and she just thinks it's really cool too. And she said that her friends at school think it's cool, so hashtag mom win. Another thing I've been absolutely loving from Dollar Tree are their wooden spoons. I've been using wooden spoons so much lately, I don't know why I made the switch, but I'm loving them. And I think it looks so cute in a little jar next to your stove, I just love it. And they have the little fork one as well, but Loving these wooden spoons, and if it gets a little dingy or whatever, you know, it's only a buck, so you can easily replace it. It's just so cute, and I don't know, there's something about using a wooden spoon. I really like it. Okay, this next thing, I cannot not mention it because I use it every single time I make my daughter pancakes, and it is this little pancake bowl with a little spout. This thing was missing in our lives for like two weeks. I have no idea where it went. I just, we couldn't find it anywhere. So this is actually my replacement one because I missed it that much. If you love to make pancakes, I'm sure you could probably use it for other things too, but it is perfect for making pancakes. You just make your little pancake mix in there, then you just pour it on your grill or your stove. This thing is great. A dollar well, well spent. This little oil pourer, oil, Horror. I have no idea what the actual name for this is, but this little thing that you can get at Dollar Tree, I love this thing, not just for, you know, olive oil, which is obviously a great use, but I use this to put our mouthwash in and I put it on our, you know, kitchen, not kitchen. I don't keep mouthwash by the kitchen. I put it next to our bathroom sink and it just looks so like cute and not you know, like a typical mouthwash bottle. This is definitely a very multifunctional little thing. I also just used one of these when I was redecorating the kitchen area of a client's house. I put his um, dish soap in here next to his hand soap and it looks so cute. It just adds a little oomph to your dish soap area. You're a good little thing, you know? You can be used for lots. Next up, I have to talk about these. These are in the, you know, picture frame area. They come in different sizes and colors. I have them in every size, every color. I use them all the time. Right now I have my cookbook on one in my kitchen. These are so great. You can use them for so many different things like holding a book or holding different decorations in place. I also just used these on top of kitchen cabinets that I was decorating the kitchen area of this house and I just needed something cute up above the cabinet so I found some cute decorative plates and put the plates on here and it like propped it up perfectly so I love these. These are also cute if you have like a little coffee bar and you want to have some cute little dishes displayed. Lots of different things that you can do with these. I love these. I definitely think they are so worth a dollar. The next thing we have been using non-stop in our house and they are these reusable little coffee cups. They have so many different ones at Dollar Tree and so many different like sayings, colors. I love this sip and relax one. These are so great. They are BPA free, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and we use them, my husband and I, all the time when we're like, when I'm taking my daughter to school or he's running to work. These are also so cute if you're having guests and you wanna give them a coffee to go instead of just like a paper one. This is just so cute and they can reuse it as well. It's basically 50 cents per cup and I think it's just so cute and every time we have a guest that gets a coffee, they love the different cups and I pick like a different saying for different people. So that's fun. My last favorite Dollar Tree item for this video is this little flower hanger holder basket thing. I love this thing so much. I have multiples of them. They are so handy for $2 because you have to buy the liner separately, but $2 for the basket and the liner to put some flowers in. It's just 
such a great deal it's just so great it looks so cute i picked up some of these last year used them like crazy i love them always love the way they look so as soon as i saw them come back out this year i knew i wanted to pick up some more because i want to change my hanging baskets on my porch to these and i just again i just think that they're such great deal for two dollars i have the hanging baskets out here using the little dollar tree bracket one there and one there. I also have two of them hanging on this little hook thing in this little flower bed area. These aren't blooming yet, but these are old liners from last year, so I'll probably replace these liners. But for a dollar from a year ago, I think they've held up decent. And then I'm also planning on changing my succulent baskets to the other Dollar Tree baskets because I think they'll look nice and my succulent baskets need to be redone. So those are all my favorite Dollar Tree items out right now that I just absolutely love and I think they're definitely well worth your money. Also in the comments below, I would love to know what your favorite Dollar Tree item is and I wonder if I have it. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.